Another news this morning, the smoke from the wildfires in Canada is back, as Kate mentioned. This morning, people across our region are waking up to air quality alerts. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Jan Carabello is live at 30th Street Station with more on the story. Good morning, Jan. Jim, good morning. We have been following closely along to our own air quality index here at the area around 30th Street Station this morning. We are currently in the red zone. This is unhealthy air, so for that reason, we have decided to be indoors today. Now, that's really what health experts are saying you should do. You should monitor your own air quality and take the necessary precautions if necessary. This smoke isn't expected to be nearly as bad as it was earlier this month, but you should expect a decrease in air quality over the next few days. This is what it looked like in our area just yesterday, those smoky conditions obscuring the Philadelphia skyline. With this in mind, the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection has issued a code red air quality action day for the entire state. They're asking Pennsylvania residents to limit outdoor activities, especially older people, children, and people who have trouble breathing. This is once again the result of smoke from wildfires in Canada blowing down toward our region. Canada is on track for its worst wildfire season in nearly 30 years. Canadian officials say there are more than 230 fires currently burning out of control, and there have been nearly 3,000 fires since the beginning of 2023, burning more than 19 million acres of forest in that country. Our region is being impacted by fires burning in Quebec and Ontario. The smoke is carried on the wind and travels hundreds of miles before coming down to surface level. And these air quality alerts in the states are widespread. On the ground, here's what it looks like from Michigan to Cincinnati to Pittsburgh. I have asthma and I'm kind of wheezing today. Here at home, people with respiratory issues are already taking precautions. I have the mask on so I protect myself and hopefully uh, to feel a little better. So today, if you want to wear a mask, the city is giving away those higher quality masks for free at four out of five health resource hubs, as well as Philadelphia police and fire stations. And that woman we spoke to right here at 30th Street Station this morning says she has a stash of masks in her backpack for this very reason. She fears she may have to be using them more and more throughout this summer. Again, if you need one of those free masks, the high quality masks we're talking about, they are the KN95 and the N95 masks. The city of Philadelphia is giving them away for free. We have a full list on our website, CBSPhiladelphia.com. Janelle? Yeah, smart to keep them handy. Jan, thank you for that.